Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. So again, let's, so let's take a look at uh, again. So as we uh, talked about, let's come over here to the cameras. Again, you're using your wrist quite a bit. And on the way down, essentially, it is uh, pulling the club down with your arms. Okay. So when this happens, there's not much room for uh, your body action. So all your body can do is when you pull it down, your body pushes the ground at the same time. Okay. Okay. So in order to use your body, the body has to move first and then let the arms and uh, wrist go. So. And also on the way back, the clip head follows fairly low path. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, uh, so what we'll do today is um, somehow, you, uh, you know, you have to uh, start using your legs more, right? Mm -hmm. So let's start with the, the step drills. Okay. And if necessary, then I will introduce some other things. Okay. So in the step drills, uh, this is called the two-step uh, drills. Okay. So, there are three stages, but the stage one, start with the, your feet together, mm -hmm. and then throw the club toward the target with your body, not just the arms, but throw this way. Right. And then toward the end of this throw, take a, this away step, and then using the step, you will be able to start the back swing actively. Okay. Pull it back, and then during the back swing, you will take the second step toward the target, and then let it go. So you are taking steps both ways. Okay. So start with the feet together. Stay right in the middle because you will take a step in both, both directions. Okay. Yeah. So first to feel the, the flow. No need to swing really hard. Yes, the overall flow is pretty uh, straightforward. Okay. okay, again. Uh, this time, the timing of the first step was late. So the step this way was late? Yeah. Okay. So always, in a given direction, take a step first. And then Once the foot touches down, then start the turn. Yes, sir. Yes. So in all directions, step first, followed by the turn. So it's called the step turn or uh, shift turn rhythm. Is, is called the uh, shun in short, okay? okay? Shift turn. And then in doing that, in doing that, uh, the reason why we are doing this trigger motion, throwing the club this way, is using this, you try to have really active back swing. Okay. And then particularly engaging your lower body instead of just pulling it with your arms. Right, which goes. Down. Yeah, so, so try to uh, turn your pelvis, so push the ground so that the uh, the leg is extending, then this hip will go up, right? Mm -hmm. With that, turn this way, and then also do the same thing. During the back swing, when you bring it back here, push the ground with the right leg, okay. so the right hip moves up, with that turn. So okay. use the pelvis and legs more. There. Yes. And then, and then going back, yes, yeah, okay. the same thing, yeah. So try to use your uh, legs and pelvis more actively. At uh, this time, it was uh, the that step was late, and all this step was late. Okay. Mm. Now it's better. Okay. Both steps were better. Okay. Mm. The step was a bit late. Okay. So what should happen is um, that step can be taken while it's still going this way. Okay. So in a given direction, step first, okay. and then turn. Yeah. But at the end of this turn, you can initiate this shift already. Okay. So it's overlapped. So here's a shun rhythm going this way. So first the shun rhythm going this way, and the shun rhythm going this way. But end of this shun and then beginning of this shun can be overlapped. Okay. Oh yes, a lot better, a lot better. And now, 
what you did, just did was you tried to put a lot of effort in the downstream. No okay. need to do that. Okay. So rather pay attention to uh, put more effort in the backstream, wind okay. up. Okay. When you have good wind up, downstream will be automatic. Okay. okay. Yes, it looks a lot better now. Yeah. So good wind up, put uh, more effort in the wind up, and then with that, let it go. And then try to turn your shoulder enough, and using the shoulder turn, and then let it go. Mm -hmm. Already, already uh, the, the rhythm is uh, improving. Mm -hmm. And then during the backswing, during the backswing, uh, actually in all ways, try to make motion smooth, okay. continuous, instead of a quick motion, quick motion here. Okay. Try to make everything continuous and let it go. Okay. Yes, that flow is a lot better. Oops. Mm -hmm. And then in other words, in other words, if you want to have a good downswing, the all you need to is a good wind up. If you have good wind up, and then automatically, because the motions are all connected, the backswing will prepare your body. So on the way down, no need to put a lot of effort. Just to go from here and then let it go. Yeah. So the the timing of the wrist motion is on the arm and wrist motion is go here and then during the backswing, first. Uh, it's uh, driven by the shoulder turn, and then add your arm motion and add your wrist motion. Mm -hmm. On the way down, the same thing. Start the downswing with the body first. So initiate this motion with your, your shoulder turn, mm -hmm. and then arms, and then later wrist. Yeah, now already uh, your pattern has changed quite a bit. This is good. And again, make it uh, all connected, continuous. Mm -hmm. So now let's take a look at what you're doing. I will record this and then show you. So stage one, ready, go. Let me uh, record uh, again. Okay, ready, go. So. So in your initial swing, you'll just put it on your shoulder here, and then try to pull it down. Yeah, now you're already using your body. Yeah. So this is uh, the right direction. All you need to do is repeat this motion again and again. Mm -hmm. The natural, you will get uh, everything, and then your motion will be a lot more. So do this every day. Yeah, it will be a lot more orchestrated. Right. So stage one. So again, give me uh, three stage ones. And as you take the step, instead of keeping the body up right here and then just the taking step like this, try to have a little bit of up and down like motion. And down. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of dancing motion here. Yeah. Mm. Again. Yeah. So what, what we'll do today is um, uh, Going through a stage one and stage two, just to try to connect everything. Mm -hmm. And in stage three, we'll do some more, okay? So this is stage one. Okay. Now let's go to stage two. Okay. In stage two, widen your stance a little bit, mm -hmm. not to uh, your full uh, stance right. here, up here, because you have to take this left step. Okay. Eliminate the right step. Okay. So throw, and then just to bring it back without taking step, but then take a step and then let it go. So maintain, yeah, maintain uh, you know the the rhythm, but you will only take the left step. Yes, like that. Okay. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Very good. So once you uh, you know find that rhythm, then it's pretty easy to uh, follow the rhythm. It is. Yeah. Um, let me go forward. Okay. And that have a back swing a bit faster, faster back swing. Back. Yeah. So in order to have faster back swing, you have to have a good throw. Ooh, and then bring it back. Ah, no. Uh, this time uh, you just uh, try to speed up in the downswing. <laughs> so, so the trigger. Should it be mm, more more uh, elaborated throw here, and then with that, okay. bring it fast. So doing the uh, trigger motion, turn your body. Okay. Yeah, and then put more effort in the backswing. Okay. Good wind up, so make it faster, and all the way down. Just to use eighty percent of your effort. Okay. No need to swing hard all the way down. As long as you have really a good backswing, ah, uh, slow. Ah, uh, slow, 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 slow. Yeah. So try to do this. So try to go. Yes. Uh, but then no need to snap it in the downswing. You just need to put effort in the backswing. Try to have more wind up again. And then the downswing will just follow automatically, so. Mm -hmm. That's better. The better connection here. So good trigger motion. Yes, it's getting better. Yeah, now everything is getting faster. Good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I will record this, and then you will like it. So, ready, go. Ready, go. This is flow. Now you're not intentionally trying to pull it down, yeah. but your whole body is moving with you, right? That looks really good. Yeah, I want to see that again. Mm. Now still, you have a little bit of uh, wrist motion oh, here, yeah. intentional, but now, let's see. So the overall flow is really good. The only thing is that I want you to have a bit more time at the top here. Instead okay. of go up and then coming down right away, go up and have a bit more time so that your body can move. Okay. okay? So this time what we will try to do is a still uh, is a stage two. Mm -hmm. And then use this here. So go, Scott, go. Okay. So during the back swing, you have uh, exaggerated uh, Scott, go. Right. Okay. okay? That's the tempo. Yeah. So when you have reasonable time up there, the right. downstream will be a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That looks, the timing looks a lot better now. Go, Scott, go. And then in the uh, in the downswing, just to try to throw the arms and club fully instead of oh, try to swing here. Still, uh, you oh, know, yeah. holding it here, but rather let it go. You know, all the stuff we do, that'll be the hardest thing to change is that the instinct. Yeah. Of, yeah. Always, you try to kill the ball uh, in the downswing. <laughs> yeah. So 
Again, exaggerate the backswing. Scott, that means uh, you have, have to more time. Then let your body prepare, and then in the downswing, simply let it go. Throw the, the arms and club. Okay? Yeah. Okay, now I will record this. Then we'll see uh, the difference between what you just did and then the current one. So again, remember, Scott exaggerated the backswing in terms of timing. Ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Good. Yeah, the, actually the down the line view, this one was uh, good in terms of timing. This is the previous one. Yep. So while uh, you're taking step, you're turning at the same time. Yeah. So it will be the rushed. Now, this is a bit yep. better. Yep. Yeah. And then particularly wow. the down the line view. Yeah, so this is stage two. Now let's go to stage three. Okay. St stage three, no step. So assume your regular stance. Okay. Maint so, maintain the same thing. Okay. Now we're just normal swing, but I'm gonna go here first. Yeah. Okay. And even during the during the back swing, so in the trigger motion, no need to keep everything rigid like this. So go here, and then what you will end up is uh, you will also try to turn this whole thing as one unit in the backswing. Okay. So go here, and then keep a little bit of wrist motion at the end. In the forward. Yeah, in the in the throw motion. Start. Yeah, and then relax the wrist, here and then throw, and then add a little bit of wrist motion. Okay. On the way down, use your you uh, in the backswing. Use your body first, shoulder turn first, and then add the arm motion, and then add the wrist motion. Okay. And what happens is if you have a rigid body here and then try to throw, then you also tend to a rush here, right. and then you tend to rush. So, so more like that. I know, that's, that's the arm driven, the wrist driven. So what should happen is uh, first the start the rotation with the body, shoulder, okay. and then add the arm and the wrist it. motion. Yeah, so, so yeah. let it get up here. Yeah. That's a good flow. That's good flow, yeah. So you have to use your arms and wrist no matter what. However, the timing is important. Right. So always start the motion with the body first, right. and then add your arm motion and the wrist motion. Mine are always early, right? Yeah. But when you go uh, as a one unit, then uh, you, know, so you, you try to uh, force it. Yes, that's good, that's good. But the only thing is the only way down, Wait until this finishes this rotation and then start the downswing okay. instead of Pulling. snapping it with your arms. So in other words, if you don't want to wait that long, then just to throw the club about here, not that far. Gotcha. You have to work with the club. You have to work with the club. That's a lot better flow now. Okay. Now you feel the motion of the club, you're working with it. Again, a little bit snapping there. Okay. So wait until this is completed and then bring it back. So but, uh, wait until the, the turn matures and then bring it back instead of fighting both ways. Okay. So even at the end of backswing, instead of trying to force it down, wait until the backswing is completed. That way you have, have more time. Okay. We'll be here and then let it go. Okay. So do not try to uh, turn the direction uh, you know, forcefully. That's a lot better flow now. Okay. And then make it a bit faster, uh, the trigger motion in the back swing. Yes, that flow is a lot better. Okay. Yes, that flow is good. Now I will record this. Okay. 
And after that, we'll try something else. Okay. So first, ready, go. Ready, go. Waiting up here. Makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. looked really good. The down the line view was really good here. You see? Yeah. So you don't you don't intentionally try to it's use your wrist. Under. Yeah, it's a good flow here. It looks a lot smoother. Yes. And faster. Yeah. Now, so this is good. Then I will add another dimension here. Okay. So the trick is, when you start the downswing, instead of opening the chest right away, try to hold it. Okay. And then turn around. Chest to close longer. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you, when you start the downswing, your back should be toward the target. Okay. Keep the back toward the target a bit longer. We still okay. stage three in this. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, hope, and then keep it a bit longer. So no need to push in the open like this, but rather this way. Oh. Yeah. And then let it go. Okay. So you should have the feel that uh, you are shifting your weight to the left side before let it go. But nothing's, yeah, nothing's coming yeah. around. So right? go here and then shift it this way and let it go. Okay. So while you are shifting, you still have to hold the turn okay. and then good shift and then turn. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So this is good, this is good. Now you start uh, using the body. So the secret here is go up here, and then as you start the downswing, still hold it here. Right. Almost you are hitting something behind your body <laughs> without even watching, right? But actually you will keep the gaze on uh, over your shoulder. Okay. Uh, your face will turn here. You will uh, use the uh, preferred vision here, mm -hmm. and then gaze over the shoulder. And here, and then start the, the, the downswing with the keep uh, with the, uh, the back toward the target, but still you know where the ball is. Right. And then let it go. So again, try to uh, start the downstream with the back toward the target. Yes. Then no need to, no need to pull the arm down. No need to jump, right? Ah, the timing was a bit too early. It rushed, it was rushed. Okay. It rushed. Okay. So in order to uh, you know, have more time, you have to have a good push, uh, good throw here. Using that, using this momentum, mm -hmm. try to have a good wind up. And then with more time, and then let it go. So always the key is having enough time at the top. Right. No rush. Yeah. Better? Yeah. Okay. But, and also on the way down, no need to Stand up. Right. Try just to load onto left side and then swing and then stand on the left side. Okay. So relieve uh, the, uh, the weight on the right side and just to stand on the left side. And then stand there. Okay. And again, no need to snap it in the downswing. All you need to do is have good backswing. From here, take time and then simply let it go and stand on the left, left side. So uh, make everything continuous. No snapping. Yes. Okay. Oh yes, now you're engaging your body. A lot better now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now record this. Okay, ready, go. Mm. 
ready, go. Yeah, now you will see uh, the flow here. You will, you will see the flow here. Yeah. So you're not doing anything intentionally, just to let it flow. This was uh, the previous one. Mm -hmm. No. But it's more closed. Yes. So we can go a bit further. That means uh, try to have a more shift, okay. more active shift. So in order to have uh, this good shift here, then you have to shift away first. Right. So go here, and as you shift, as you shift, Instead of moving the upper body going uh, you know, that way, try to move the pelvis this way. Yeah. But your upper body is here, so you go to a, a bit uh, reverse pivot posture. Right. Go here and then shift back. Okay. So shift away, followed by recentering. Re yeah, this is very different from what you have done. So uh, you know, so uh, we'll see. But as long as you have a good shift away, that this will become uh, reasonably natural. So a little more. Yeah, but uh, you're going to uh, the pivot position, but you are not really letting the <laughs> pelvis go. So again, so from here, first the shift away, shift, yeah. and then turn, then you can come back. Okay. Yeah. So always shift first, right. and then turn. Right. And then as you complete the turn, you're already initiating the shift. So an, unless you shift away early, it's then like, it's hard to recenter. It's like stage eight. <laughs> so again, so here, throw as you throw, you will shift it this way. Okay, right. from here, move the pelvis this way, and then turn around. And then rushed, rushed. So have a bit more time up there. So only when, when, when you have a reasonable, uh, you know, shifting, then you can have enough time there. It's that. Yeah. Without the shift, then you will you will uh, use your arms to bring it down. That's better. That's better. Oh, 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 now look at your downswing. Woo. Yes. Uh huh. Now you're, you're engaging your lower body more and more. <laughs> this looks good. Yes. Yeah, so now I will record this. <laughs> you will like it. Yeah, so catch some breath. <laughs> oh, as soon as you said, oh, that looks really good. Please go back. <laughs> so again, no need to uh, snap it in the downstream, but rather you have good shift and then recentering the good wind up during the back swing, right? I changed go, Scott, go to left, right, left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so ready, go. Yep. Ready, go. Yeah, now everything is uh, flowing, so you are not intentionally doing anything. So the shift doesn't have to be a lot. Right. As long as you have the feel and the right timing, okay, then everything is okay. Right. So actually when you shift a lot, then it can cause some instability here. Right. But uh, when you have the, the rhythm correctly, it's not a lot of shift, but the right timing and the overall flow. 
still you tend to use your uh, arms a little bit the previous one now this one here yeah there's no mm. like that yeah this oh. one this one you are actually you are using the body more so right. this is coming down because of your body motion here yeah this is really good 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 mm. stuff mm. <laughs> and then this is a painful moment but oh, uh, i'll go back and look at the first one yeah <laughs> so bad. Yeah, this uh, that'll this be, that'll be good for your post later when you. Yeah, this was you, <laughs> and then this is you now. Yeah. Yes, it's, so this is very different, as if uh, we have uh, two different. Uh, you can hear the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So once you start engaging your low body, no need to uh, do a lot with right. the arms. Still, you can use your wrist cock. Right. Having reason wrist cock is you know, good, but just to let it go. And now, in, in order to uh, um, in, uh, enforce this, let's use the rope. Have you tried the rope? I uh, never. OK, so this is then yours. Okay? So then, initially, throw the rope slightly this way, and then bring it up here. And then try to swing back and forth repeatedly okay. and see how well you do this. Remember what you just did with the club. Swing. Your back swing is too slow, so give it a bit more time. So here, here is the, the idea. Now the rope is very different from the club. Right. Because it's a flexible. Right. The weight will be a bit different, you know, so it's very different. But the bottom line is you have to work with the rope. In other words, you have to, if necessary, you have to adjust to your body motion to move the rope properly. Right. So first the image, you know, what kind of rope motion you want to have, then the rope has to go around your body and then wrap your body, and then there it go. So that the pulling will throw this off. Yeah, big time, yeah, yeah. Right? So you have to generate good rope motion. It's not about, you know, your body. It's all uh, rope centric. Yeah, feel. Feel the motion of the rope. Still, back swing is too slow. That's why uh, it's hard to uh, start the downswing. Okay. So let me show you this. Okay. So take a look at what I do. Yeah, back swing give enough speed, and the more importantly, rope goes around here. Okay. So the secret to this is start the swing with the shoulders and the air, the arm, and then wrist. Right. And then flex your arm slightly. Whereas I do it in reverse. So, and then you, you, you're, you're becoming slow here. Right. So if enough, turn here, and then add arm and uh, uh, the wrist. So to make it continuous all the way until the rope wraps around your body. So you have to wait until the rope go, uh, you know, goes around your body, and then let it go, yes. Go a bit faster. Uh, go a bit, a bit faster during the back swing. No, okay. still, still is going. I think I get it. I think I get it. Yeah. So work okay. with the back swing. Yeah. Yeah. Work, work with the rope. So your goal is to uh, generate uh, the rope motion you want. Yes. Mm-hmm. And also, also in the downswing is a clean up. To yeah, your neck, right? So let it go, let it go, and then add a little bit of uh, arm motion here, so that it can go here instead of uh, clinging. Yeah. So you have to, in, at the end, you have to slow it down, right? Yeah. So this is all part of the, this whole uh, whole thing. So don't just swing, but feel the, yes. Yeah. Feel the motion of the rope. It's, a, it's a, a too hard, so uh, let's go a bit easier on the, on the way down. The so down, down swing, yeah, go a bit easier. Okay. Then it will nicely uh, go around your body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there, instead, uh, pay more attention to the back swing part, the wind-up part. Yeah? 
when you have good wind up with that, downswing will be automatic. Yes. Okay, now I will record this. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes, so this is the, the key point. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now you are working with the rope. Okay. So you know the desired motion of the rope. <laughs> You're only 42. Come on. <laughs> really strong with cardio. Yeah. So when you deal with the different things, okay, then always you have to uh, work with the, the device you, you are right. dealing with. And that means that you have to know the physical uh, characteristics, how heavy it is, and whether it's a flexible, and the, what kind of motion you want to generate. Once you have that in, uh, in the image, then you will be able to run the rope and then sort of uh, change your body motion right. to uh, secure that. So would you have me just do stage one, two, three, and then do rope at the end? Oh, uh, no, you can actually mix all these. We okay. can mix up. You can uh, have a rope first okay. as a warm up. Okay. You keep uh, swinging rope maybe uh, you know fifty times continuously. Right. So, I mean, this is honestly this is something I should do every day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So and then you can use the the club and then stage one, two, three, or if you use just a stage three alone, that's okay. okay. So you can use any of the step drills as your pre shot routine. Okay. Right. And then the rope swing can be uh, you know at the beginning. You just warm up and then feel what it's like. Right. So again, this time, try to, uh, on the way down, add your wrist motion, okay. arm and wrist motion nicely, so that you don't have to turn your body a lot. So again, feel the rope motion more, yes, yes, yes. Now, keeping that, remembering that, let's go to the club motion. Okay do something similar. Now, the club is a bit different, but you can come up with a similar, right. similar motion. So instead of uh, try to dominate the club, again, work with the club. Yeah. <laughs> so. This part felt completely different. Yeah. Oftentimes, what happens is uh, you try to dominate the club. When you try to swing hard, right. you try to dominate the club, but it's hard to uh, dominate the rope, right? right? Then you have you have to learn how to work with the rope. Right. Once you have That's that and they come back to the really swing, idea. yes, yeah. then you will also be able to work with the club. That, that makes a lot of sense. Because your goal is to, to generate the reasonable club head motion. Remember, in your original swing, you let it go here. So by the time you reach the impact position, it's already too uh, straight, it's, it's all right? right? Yeah. But now you're working with the club, and all you need to do is let it go, let it go. So now you will see that your, your hands are leading a little bit, and then let it go. Yeah. So the purpose of uh, inserting that rope motion just a moment ago is to uh, you know, allow you to feel that and then use it uh, in a club swing. Yes. And you will have a stable uh, finished position. Yes. So it's all Kalevet centric. That's really good. <laughs> then, then let's do a stage three again. Okay. So, uh, you know, when I use certain uh, drills, there is a, an intention involved here. Okay. So, ready, stage three, ready, go. So, your motion is not that. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like you're putting a lot of effort, but the, the flow is really right. good. <laughs> okay, wow. ready, go. Yeah, even the trigger motion, boxing, all these are now well connected. Right. It makes a lot of sense now. You see, that is it's cool. uh, effortless, yes. effortless. Yes. And when you intentionally add more effort, particularly during the back swing, and you will be able to swing harder right. and harder. When you really go for uh, the speed, mm -hmm. then you can do that. But currently, uh, we are building good framework here. 
good, good backbone of uh, the swing, right? You see, it's effortless. Yes. You know? So everything is flowing really well. Yep. Mm. So That's now, cool. now you start working with the club. See. At, at the end, you are slowing down the rope better. That's why uh, it's not going all the way up here. The rope was, that was amazing. Yeah. So now I tend to use the rope uh, during the stage three. Mm -hmm. And I try to uh, give you a chance to feel what it is like. Right. So this is the earlier one. Yeah, so now this is good. So the, the next is your regular swing. Now, somehow you have to take advantage of this in your regular swing. Right. So I'm not going to say anything. Uh, the only thing is to have a reasonably fast backswing and then see uh, you know, how you can do your regular swing. You had a ball? No, oh, just the, without the ball for the moment. Yeah, so aim the, the tip of the tee. If you are going to uh, do the regular swing, So w one way uh, we can do this is do the stage three first, okay. and then do the regular okay. swing. Yeah. So by doing stage three as your, your pre-shot routine, you will remind yourself okay. of the rhythm, and then do the regular swing. And I try to uh, hit the, uh, the tip of the T. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Already. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel jumpy, doesn't feel poly, whatever. Yeah, without saying anything, okay? So let's record this. And then, uh, Stage three followed by rear foot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stage three first. Yeah, and then your regular swing. Ready, go. Stage three, and then regular swing, ready, go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Without even, uh, you know, saying anything. This is, this is what you're doing here. So instead of uh, just uh, bring it up here and then try to snap it down, now the whole thing is a uh, lot smoother automatically. So again, let's compare this with your initial swing. I know this is a painful yeah. moment, painful moment, but um, <laughs> no rhythm, no Zero. rhythm here. Yeah, just using your arm here. Now, it's because you're using your body now. So once you start engaging your body, then everything becomes a lot more flowing, you see? Mm -hmm. And then, so this time, remember the shifting. So keep a bit more shift. And then on the way down, you will keep your back toward the target. Yeah, keep it more closed, like a happy Gilmore. Um, and then try to, so again, stage three, even stage three, try to keep the back toward the target and keep more shift. Yes. Now, your, your regular swing, try to come up with the same thing. Yes. So, this is the idea. What's that? This is the idea. So, when, so when you're hitting balls, practice mm. So, when, stage three, yeah, hit the ball. Stage yeah, yeah. Three, hit the ball, right? And when you start the regular swing, try something like this. So, go here. Mm. Mm. Because we cannot throw the club this right. way. So that uh, trigger motion is gone. Right. So you, what you can do is mm, prepare your body, mm, and feel the rhythm, and then go. You missed it, it felt great. <laughs> Keep the, the back toward the target. So again, stage three. Yeah, 
So that's a lot better now. Okay. But uh, again, make sure you have a good start. Right. Good start. So uh, you have to come up with a way to uh, have a you know smooth start. So instead of just standing here and then starting, you have to move your body somehow so that you can easily start the back swing. One of them is again go here. What if I? Mm. What if I kind of push a little left and then? Yeah, that's a that's a body trigger. Yeah. One of the body triggers you can do. Mm. You can have a bit faster motion. So. Uh, yeah, again, there are different strategies. Uh, one you can use is uh, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. If you count. Right, but hitting a ball. Right. Yeah, yeah. One, one, two, squat. Okay. okay. One, left, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you do that, at count three, you are starting the backswing. Your body already knows that. So you don't rush, right? And then you will be able to prepare your body a little bit. So at count three, you are moving. And then try to turn more. So keep the back toward the target. Okay. And you have to keep uh, more time up there. Okay. When you rush, then you tend to use your arms. Okay. So. Still, the timing is a bit uh, quick. So here's the. Here's the thing, yeah, here's the thing. The end outcome of backswing is a, a position here, mm -hmm. which you have to go through, right? So image the end position. That end position is not just going up here, but it has to include the shift motion as well. Okay. So from here, your end goal is go out and then come to this position, right? Okay. So your end position is this here. Okay. Go up, and then here you have a shift motion as okay. well. So when you image your end position, then the backswing has to uh, give you that end position. That's better, okay. that's better. And then again, keep the shoulders uh, closed a little bit longer. So. And, then, and then move the body, move the, sh uh, have a, you know, exaggerate the shift and then turn. Okay. See how it goes. That's better, okay. that's better. So this is uh, the strategy you need to develop. Okay. This is your homework, okay? Yeah, no then let's uh, try to hit, uh, hit some balls here. Mm -hmm. And then remember the rope swing. So use the arms and the wrist reasonably. So this is how you uh, hit the ball. So always do stage three first. Oh. So always do a stage three first, and then feel the rhythm, and then try to have all the ingredients in there. So you know, good shift away in the uh, recenter, and then go to the uh, ball and then hit the ball. Yes, once you have that feel. Yep, so you can have consistent shots. So this is good, this is good. So let me, let me record this. This is the last one. Okay, so stage three. And then approach the ball. Ready, go. So one more. Okay, again, stage three. Okay, and then ready, go. Yeah. Yeah, so 
the, the, the way the ball is coming back is really consistent. Yeah, so that means, really good. Yeah, that means uh, your impact is quite consistent. So here. So now uh, you're not really using your arm only, but uh, you're using yeah. the whole body. The flow is a lot better. So uh, whether you, you're aware of this or not, but already you, you are getting used to uh, this rhythm. Oh, yeah. Automatically you're using this rhythm. And the, the base, basically don't fight, you know, and then let it go, and then make a continuous motion. Right. Let it flow. You kind of want to roll within a month. So, um, you know, so you uh, do your homework well. So try to figure out things and how to uh, have a uh, you know, smooth landing here. So kinda, from kinda, when you were saying go, Scott, go, and I made it left, right, left, that was what I was thinking when I did the actually hitting the ball hmm. was even if you can't see it, just yeah. left, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. left. Yeah. Oh, so cool. that's, that's what, what, uh, what happens. When you just count, you already, uh, you already know that at count three, you're moving, right. you're doing the backswing, right? right? So then your body certainly Prepare for that. Right. Mm. So the rope is yours, but before you go, let me do just one more thing. Yeah. Um, so I'll leave the rope and the club here. I'm sure you are doing this, uh, you know, at your place. But uh, so try to put this uh, underneath the ball, ball of the foot here, and then using the right hand, right hand, choke down, choke down. Yeah. Oh, it is too, too, too far down, okay. maybe about here. Okay. And then try to pull, pull it up, but not using your arms, but rather, yeah, shift and then turn. Yeah, the only thing I do is push down. Yeah, so like, you, like that. Yeah, so if you had your hand on my right, my yeah. right foot, I'd yeah. crush yeah. in your fingers. Yeah. yeah, so this is what you need to feel doing the back swing. Okay? So that you have a good support on the right foot, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it makes me go. And then, and then if you lean the body this way slightly, go to a reverse pivot posture, then this is what you need, what you need to feel. <laughs> yeah. First, the initially shift away. Yeah. And as you turn, as you turn, you can shift this way slightly. Yeah. So you can do the same thing for the downswing by running another, another bend here. And the holding here, so you can go both ways. This way, and then shift, and then add the, the shift motion first. So grab, grab a bit lower, lower position here. Okay. And then, so first, slightly shift. No, before you turn, shift first, and then turn, and then shift back, and then turn, shift back, and then turn, shift back, and turn. Okay, and then is they using your your right. elbow? So I'm just trying no arms. Is, yeah, is yeah, just to try to turn your shoulders. Yeah, and then turn, keep keep going both okay. ways. Push and then push and then push and then push. The, you will feel that the tension is building. It's like a workout. Yes. So that way you can feel what it's like to have more weight oh. on each side. Yeah, this is a... That is a workout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is also... You can use resistance bands for that, can you? Mm. You, know, you can use any, any, any band. Yeah, mm. I can use these.